Hiya, this is Steve from hairbizsecrets.com. A few of you have emailed me and asked me how I keep organised. So in this short video, I just want to show you a little tool that I use to keep myself organised um, because it's very difficult when you're, you know, you're a busy hairdresser like myself, you're running a column, you've got a business to run, you've got to manage a salon and if there's lots of things to remember to do and what orders to do them in. So essentially what I do is the following. I use a to-do list. So here's my to-do list. And the thing is, I would write down the different types of jobs that I've got to do. You know, it might be mend a tumble dryer, it might be uh, remember a meeting, it might be make a phone call. So there'd be all these different things for me to do in my to-do list. The way that I prioritise is making sure that my priorities match my goals. So for example, it would be the following. One would be urgent and relevant. Now for me, urgent would be something that's urgent, that it needs doing, and my urgent is normally a day, and it's relevant to my goals. So it's urgent, must be done today, and it's relevant to my goals. Some people's urgent might be a week, so you need to decide on what your urgency is. Two would be urgent, but it's not relevant. So that's something that needs doing urgently, but it's actually not relevant to your goals. Number three would be not urgent, but relevant. Okay, so it's not urgent, but it's relevant. And number four is not urgent or not relevant. The great thing about these ones is that you can start giving these things out for other people to, to do for you and just keep a check on them. So, you know, if they're not urgent and they're not relevant it doesn't really matter so much when they get done and it's not going to affect your business anyway so it's a really good delegation tool so my to-do list look, might look something like this repair a tumble dryer prep for an interview buy a birthday card book a course buy some milk book a meal and call Mark. If I put a phone call there, I always make sure that I have the telephone number there so that um, it's ready to hand. And then I'd simply go down and prioritise it. So, repair tumble dryer. Well, you know, if my tumble dryer is not working, this will cause problems in the salon. So, this is definitely, it's got to be a number one, it's an urgent. Number two, um, this one here might be interview of prep. Depends when the prep is, but uh, sorry, the interview is. But imagine the interview is in a couple of days, then this would become a number three because it's not urgent today. Birthday card might be urgent but not relevant, so I'd put number two by that. Book a course, there might be a deadline on, on the course, so I'd make sure that was a number one. Uh, buy milk, I'd put as a number four. Book a meal, again, this is not relevant but it's urgent. And call Mark. So I can then very quickly prioritise my list and straight away I can see that the two that I need to do is repair the tumble dryer and book the course. Now the other little trick that I do is I put an asterisk by anything that only takes me 20 minutes. Because if I'm working in the salon, I might have a 15 or 20 minute gap, then I would then just go down my list and say what things would take 15 minutes well this call would only take 15 minutes and um, booking a course would only take 15 minutes and so would buying the car, card and the rest would take a lot longer so I would literally if I had a 20 minute break I would then go to my list I'd look straight down it and I'd see straight away that um, the first thing I'd do would be to book the course then once I've done that, I'd make sure I cross that off my list. Then the next thing would be, I'd look down my list. If I only had 20 minutes, I'd go and buy the birthday card and so on and so forth. And then I'd make my phone call. Sorry, I did that the wrong way around, but you get the, uh, get the meaning of this. And um, then the following day, I would just rewrite my list out and then reprioritize because obviously as the days go on then your priorities will change and your relevance will change so um, I hope that helps just a quick little video on my to-do list and how I keep myself organized speak to you soon bye for now